Hey class, another lesson is up for the day. But before we proceed, let us all dwell in silence as we all read this short prayer. So again, another great morning to all of you class. And for me to know if you have watched this video, just write Add some on your answer sheets that you are going to pass on the next Friday. Without this term, meaning to say you haven't watched this video lesson. So add soon is a Latin term that is present in the chapter 6 of El Filibusterismo, which means you are present. So class, you can still remember that our previous video was all about the lesson examining the biases made for or against by the author. And as a sort of review, an author's bias is any opinion that is made to support or contradict something. Oftentimes, this opinion is not based on logical reasoning or experiences. And since I already received your answer sheets for the module 1, and everyone was able to submit their outputs wherein you have to provide the picture of your idols and create five biases why you love them that we show first the best output for module one so congratulations class and keep up the good job now let's have a short activity before we tackle our new lesson so this is so easy and exciting so in this activity, the mechanic is you have to guess which products use the following taglines that I will be presenting on the screen. Okay? But, of course, you have to make sure that you have your pen, pad, and your module right now. Okay? And then open the module on page 5 and let's answer the activity under what's new. Okay? So, to answer the activity or to do it, you are given 5 seconds for each item. After the given time, the answers will be revealed so that you may check if you have guessed the answer correctly. Is that clear? Are you ready? So number 1 is, May diwana ang buhay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is, Meran. Number two, balance news, fearless news. And the correct answer is Philippine Daily Inquirer. Number three, para kanino pa bumabango. And the correct answer is Nescafe. Number four, we got it all for you. The correct answer is SM Malls. Number five, for Kapuso ng Bawat Filipino is GMA Network. For number 6, the tagline is Goodbye Stains. And the correct answer is Ariel. For number 7, And the correct answer for Wag Maihi Ang Magtanong? Right man. Let's have number 8. Finger licking good. And the correct answer is KFC. Number 9. We find ways. And the correct answer is BDO. And for the last item, Bida ang saya. And the correct answer is Jollibee. 
And that ends our activity. So if you have guessed all the answers correctly, very good to your class. And if not, that was just fine. And I hope you have loved our activity for the day. And I know that you have observed that the whole thing is all about the advertisements in televisions, radios, and social media platforms. And that is because our lesson for today is all about analyzing the intentions and expressions used in propaganda techniques. For today's lesson, here are the objectives. And now class, let's start our lesson which is all about propaganda. And propaganda is any information that is misleading in nature which is usually used to promote someone's point of view or in a political cause. It is also important to note that propaganda is started because of the manipulation practice. And what is manipulation practice? It is an act which aims to control the situation using flowery or sugar-coated words and um, overdoing of the action just to convince other people. And class, there are seven famous propaganda techniques that were used to advertise a product or a political candidate. And here they are. Let's begin exploring these techniques. So the first one is the bandwagon. So it has the idea of intentionally making the people or the person be left out from the group. For the examples, we have the taglines from the Pepsi and proactive skincare. It can be observed that the taglines imply that everybody was using the product. And so the person who is now watching the commercials should uh, do a move or an action of purchasing it so that they would feel that they belong or they are in. Second one is the plain fox. So this propaganda technique uses ordinary or common people to promote the product. So we have the uh, pampers and of course the Oreo for our examples because as we can observe, for the pampers, they are using uh, ordinary mothers and for the Oreo, there is an ordinary uh, baby or an ordinary kid. They were not related to celebrities or any famous person. That is the power of the second technique, which is the pink fox. Our third propaganda technique is the card stacking. In here, it intentionally removes any information that may damage the image of a product or any political candidate when used for political campaigns. And also, it only uses the information that would surely uh, bait or put the person into trap. Okay. So let's have a look for the examples. The example for the the taglines of the cream silk and of course a snack food. So our fourth propaganda technique is the name calling. So it has the idea of using insulting words or belittling labels to form negative impressions and opinions towards the other product, groups, or person. In the televisions, we can see um, a lot of advertisements where in another product or the rival product is uh, labeled as brand X. That is a concrete example of name calling. And if you are going to notice, even though the name of the product is uh, blurred, still we can recognize it by the other features it has, like the colors, the layouts, and so on. So that is propaganda techniques in order to um, build up the chosen product another product has to be put down so let's have the fifth one and that is glittering generalities so this propaganda technique uses positive words in order to influence 
the buying decisions of a person. Okay, for an example, we have the Co, which has the tagline, Things go better with Co. And of course, the tagline of Enchanted Kingdom, which states, Find magic at the Enchanted Kingdom. So that is the power of glittering generalities. It just provides all good vibes and all good things through all positive words. Our sixth propaganda technique is the testimonial. So this technique has the idea of using the advertisements of the influencers, well-known personalities, celebrities, authority figures, and other experts in the field. So it is like implying that the product is worth the money of the consumers. So for the example, we have the uh, beauty cream that is promoted by Kathleen Bernardo and of course the Hannah shampoo that is promoted by our primetime queen Marden Rivera. And class, our last propaganda technique is the transfer. So this is a technique of impressing the good or bad qualities of a person or of an object to make the endorsed product more acceptable. We have Manny Pacquiao and the Alaxan FR, where in, in order to relieve his pain, he is using Alaxan FR. And the second one is Sarah Geronimo and the Sun Silk, where in, uh, to maintain her um, long black hair, she uses Sun Silk. So that is the power of transfer. So that is all about propaganda and the techniques that we may use in order to endorse or promote a product or a political candidate. And this time, I'll be showing you pictures and all you have to do is to guess what is the technique being used to these products. Are you ready? have identified correctly the propaganda technique used in each photo advertisement of the product. So number one is Bandurikon because of the term billions and billions. And number two is glittering generalities because it was given as example uh, earlier on the discussion. Things go better with gold. All the positive words were Use. Third one is transfer because when Coco Martin uh, was feeling down in his life, he used to drink Cobra. Fourth one is testimonial because General Mercado was used to endorse and lead. And the fifth one is card stacking because there is no damaging information presented to promote the Burger King. And now class that we are able to recognize the propaganda techniques applied in the advertisements of the products, this time let's have another activity. And I want you to create a TikTok video promoting anything at your house. It could be a part of your house, food, an object, product, a tool, anything that is present at your house so that you do not have to spend money, you do not have to buy something, or to go anywhere else just to comply with this activity. And for those who do not have the access or the devices to create a video, you can do the task on a short band paper. Just refer to the format on the uh, page 8 and 9 of your modules. Okay. And if you still do not have a short band paper right now, you can uh, do it on your answer sheet. Okay. Just make your work neat and presentable. Okay. And for those who will be doing a TikTok video, 5 minutes will be allotted for you to accomplish this task. And for those who will be doing the task on a short band paper or on their uh, answer sheet, okay, you will be submitting it on retrieval day. 
that clear. And to sum up our discussion for today, it is just all about the propaganda and the techniques that were used to promote a product or to advertise a political candidate. And there are seven propaganda techniques. We have the bandwagon, the transfer, the testimonial, the name calling, the glittering generalities, the flame fox, and the card stuff. For the valuing part, um, the essence of using propaganda techniques in our daily lives could be varied. But surely, this lesson has led us to the realization that in order to persuade people, it takes a lot of manipulation. It is not just about uh, presenting facts. It is also about uh, using the art of wordplay. By this time, I know that you really have learned our lesson today. And to measure how much you have gained, please answer this short piece. Read carefully the questions that I will be presenting and then just choose the correct answer. Write your answers, of course, on your answer sheet. Goodbye class!